right now we are in Clinton, Connecticut. And we're gonna go for a run to see a graveyard I've been told about that I've never seen before. It's very unique is what I've been told. And today we're gonna be talking about the worst horror movies I've ever seen in theaters, so stay tuned. So we're in a very small, quaint town, and hopefully all this traffic isn't going to be too loud. But I want to tell you about the worst horror movies I've ever seen in theaters. But they left me literally shook asking what the f*** happened. So I'm going to start with the probably most uh, watchable one first, and I'll save the absolute worst until the end. Like I said, we're in Clinton, Connecticut. It's very beautiful. It's a very small town. And I like how everything is not your McDonald's, your Wendy's your Home Depot's. It's just got this little feel to it. Painting the windows, a little bit of everything. So the place is right down here. We're gonna take some stops on the way. Now the first movie I want to talk about, I was really excited for when we went to go see it. And that was Alien Covenant. That is the newest one, if I'm not mistaken, 2017. Now to prepare myself for this, what we did is that me and my friend Look at that. We watched every single Alien movie. We saw Alien 1, 2, 3, Resurrection, Resurrection, Prometheus, and the Aliens vs. Predators. And then we watched the Predator movies. We really familiarized ourselves with this. We went in, you know, we had a pretty good understanding of the whole movie, or the whole lore and everything, and where this was placed in it. We go to watch it, and oh my goodness, was it a train wreck. So this is the fourth worst movie I've seen. What was so bad about this movie is that I felt like I just didn't know what it was trying to be. Now it was uh, directed by Ridley Scott and the scenery was great. I thought the CG was pretty good, all things considered. And it had some redeemable qualities, but it was so just out of left field, like what the butt is happening? And what I mean by that is we're watching it and there's, I've only seen it once. We're watching it and there is uh, a part where it's supposed to be like a oh shit moment where it's like a plot twist it was so obvious that me and my friend when it happened look at all these flies we nudged each other at the same time because we both wanted each other to know how batshit stupid that was because the people behind us were like oh my god and we were like, are you kidding me? That was like, it was so obvious. We weren't even sure if it was supposed to be uh, a plot twist. But when we heard the people behind us go, oh shit. And I looked up reviews, it was like, wow, did no one else see that coming? I thought Michael Fassbender was very good. Most of the people were just so forgettable. They were just, one person died in the shower. And I was like, I look over to my friend. I'm like, yo, didn't that girl already die? He's like, no, nah, man, that's the other blonde chick in the movie. I'm like, there's two. Didn't know their names. I had no idea who they were. It was very bad. The CG was pretty good. Honestly, what the thing that makes this movie a little bit better is that it was interesting. I could watch it again and find new things. It was adventurous. They went land on a new planet. And also where they landed was a place called Milford Sound, which is in New Zealand, is where this was actually shot. And just last year I went there. So it does hold this kind of, you know, redeeming quality in the Alien franchise that I was actually there. Um, and last but not least, the people that went to that planet, they're like, all right, let's try this planet. It looks like there could be life. And they go there. And these are the people that we sent out to look around the entire world. Like, they are very smart people. We only pick the best of the best. And I know in this universe, there might be more than the amount of astronauts we have now. But we send these people there. And they literally are so stupid that they'll just take their, like, oh, this machine says it's okay. We're going to take our helmets off immediately and go look at this weird, you know, like, I just did not find that realistic. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, there's no other precautions? And don't even get me started on Prometheus, how the guy takes his helmet off and looks at something that looks like a snake. On another planet, you just landed there. If I were to see a snake over here in my hometown, I'd be like, nah, get the fuck out of here. In fact, look at the next, look at the last video I did. I'll link it. I literally did run into a snake and I'm like, oh shit. Perfect example. That is why Alien Covenant is just, oh my gosh. We spent so much time talking about the movie after we saw it that we literally spent more time talking about it than we did watching it. 
So that's alien. But here we are. Established 1665. Now that is older than the last one we went to. Indian River Cemetery. Let's go in there. So I'm gonna give a little walk because I don't think this is all that big of a cemetery. So third worst movie I ever saw in theaters was the most recent movie I saw, which was Happy Death Day 2. This movie was really bad. But it was it this weird bad, it was this weird bad where when we finished watching, I saw this movie with the same person I watched Alien with. We were in New Zealand and we're like, let's watch a movie. He was there for a little while, we wanted some downtime. First movie was great. Good enough to go see the second one. Oh, look at this, guys. It's pretty neat. So we go see the second one, and if you saw the first one, they work with time and how all that works, and it's like time traveling almost. The second one did that again, but it was the weirdest thing. Like, it felt like they were just, they filmed the movie. It was 80 minutes. They're so like, oh, nah, man. Like, Paramount wants a 90-minute movie. Let's just elongate all these scenes. It's like, how many times do I have to see you go back and do, like, the same thing? It felt a little bit just, ugh. I don't really know. That movie didn't really sit well with me, but it wasn't the worst. It was that weird level where I wasn't sure if my friend liked it or not, and then we both talked about it, and we're like, yeah, it wasn't that good. <laughs> um, but people liked it. People liked that movie. It seems like critics and everyone enjoyed it. Same thing with Alien Covenant. All right, well, let's just look over here real quick. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see with the camera, but there's like a little, uh, someone's patio almost over there across from uh, the wetlands swamp. Um, what I was told about this place, aside from it being very old, um, was just the gravestones it had, like crazy detail. Also, these ones standing up like this, which I haven't seen before. Now, obviously, the person's not in that, unless they were cremated and they just given that plot of land, seemingly underneath it. But that's interesting. I have never seen that before. So that's new, and there's a couple of them. Some on the ground, if not maybe broken, then they just recovered it. Some over here. And this stretch is far, guys. We're gonna go for a good little jog right now. We're gonna see what this looks like. But that brings me to the second Worst movie. And you know what? I want to say two and one are nearly tied. Second worst movie I ever saw in theaters was one of the first movies I went to and, you know, had a couple drinks. It was Insidious 4. And I know what you're going to be telling me. Saying, wow, Jeff, did you really think the fourth movie in a series would blow your mind? No. But did I think it would be competent? Yes. This movie was the second most forgettable movie I've ever seen. I had a pretty good amount of hype for it because the first Insidious was one of my, and is one of my favorite horror movies. Second one, people like, it's not my cup of tea. Third one, I think is one of the most underrated horror scenes in any modern day horror. And I'll uh, put that up over here. That scene I think is just, it's unique. Not to say it is the only of its kind, but it's, it, it has this uniqueness that I don't see all that often. But the fourth one, I thought the trailer was eh, pretty booty. It's the fourth one though. And I go there thinking like, at least everything in the trailer will be in the movie. The movie ends and I'm like, yo, what happened to that chick with like the bald head? I could have sworn that was not in the movie. So even the scary part, of the movie in the trailer wasn't in the movie it was just horrible I, the cast was forgettable the movie okay it's a it's a horror movie i get it but very dark for no real reason probably just to mask the sh shittiness of the movie it had very little to no redeemable qualities i honestly would not rewatch that if you threw 30 bucks in front of my face it's like nah man like i can't get back the time i lose for watching this movie it was just terrible acting was horrible and to this day what we do me and my friends we have this like kind of inside joke where we just make fun of how bad it is i could literally almost trip on this be like, 
and I'd be like, oh man, still scarier than Insidious 4. It's just nothing. Even the jump scares were lackluster at best. I don't remember a single scene. It has nothing to do with having a drink. Like I said, it was a light buzz. Oh my god, it would be fun. Terrible, do not do it. And last, but very not least, the absolute worst movie. The one that was so bad, I nearly forgot about it until years later it was brought up, was The Apparition. The Apparition came out while I was in college, probably 2012-ish, 2013. And in the name, it's called Apparition. And I can tell you right now, there's no apparition in that movie. Wow, look at this. That's pretty neat. Spoilers, okay? Terrible, nothing happens. It was riding the waves of a lot of these actors' kind of higher points. I know one of them was in Twilight. Um, there are a couple, you know, decent names in this. Terrible, I don't know what went wrong. The whole time, it's basic. I, everything was just bland. It has to do with, I saw it once, I'll never see it again, but some girl, I think she moves, something creepy in her house, and it's fucking nothing. If I'm not mistaken, in the last scene, they show her with like hands around her or something like that, you see something. And that is honestly what is on the movie poster. So they literally spoil the last scene for you. So that was it guys, that was our trip all the way up to the cemetery up in, Cl in Connecticut. And I thought it was really neat. I say that about pretty much all of them I go to, but this one definitely had a little bit of personality that I have not seen anywhere else. Deceivingly large, it's kind of hidden on a road called Cemetery Road. It had these weird graves that I'll have to do more research on, but I've never seen before. So I sure hope you guys liked that video. You already know, there's one over here, one over here. Check them out. And until next week, guys, enjoy... Sp <laughs> say it wrong every time. Enjoy spooktacular October, and I shall see you in episode 17. Peace.